Sipi Bach uh, was Bach's second son and one of the most important composers of the 18th century you have probably never heard of. Uh, always considered today in the, in the shadow of his father, but an incredibly important composer. His music is uh, beautiful, it can be quirky, it can be emotionally ravaging, it's, it's, it turns on a dime. One can understand why Beethoven felt a kinship with him. If we look at music history, compare the 19th and 18th century to today. For instance, one of the things you see in, in orchestral uh, um, programming, in, in every orchestra, regardless of how much the music director uh, champions music of today, um, which I know the MCO does, uh, but in general, the percentage of contemporary music, music that was written yesterday, to old music is 80% old music, 20% new music, something like that. In the 19th century, and certainly in the 18th century, that's completely flipped. What, what musicians are, and, and the audiences are interested in is music that was written yesterday, not music that was written 50 years ago. So when we hear stories of J.S. Bach's music found, uh, used as, as, as wrapping for fish at the market, or being completely forgotten, um, it's, it's tragic. But it is not surprising, because nobody, including Bach, who was an extremely conservative individual, um, he kept to his style his entire life, all the way till 1750, in such a way that we actually call the end of the Baroque period, you know, 1750, when Bach died. And most people were adapting to new styles, because that's what they were expected to do, that's what they liked, and that's what their audiences liked. Bach was... Uh, an exception to that. CPE was very much part of this wave that that explored newer styles and heard things coming from uh, opera and coming from different countries and different um, dialects of music. This shift away from his father's style was very much the way music was made on an, on an, in, in an everyday sort of way. It was just you were interested in what was written um, yesterday, people, you know, say Vivaldi wrote the same concerto 500 times over. That's that's not true. But he did write over 500 concertos, and he did that because nobody wanted last week's concerto; they wanted this week's. Um, and C.P. Bach understood that. Anyway, C.P. Bach, uh, one of my favorite people in music, for sure. <laughs> ¶¶